I am present, Jesus the Savior, when you call, I am ready, I am present, omnipotent, I am ready, I am present, Jesus the Savior, when you call, I am ready, I am present, Omnipotent God, when you call, we are ready. Oh, fine, I look at my Jesus the Savior. Ready. I'm ready, Jesus the Savior, to follow your good deed in your mercy. See me true. Lord Jesus, see me through. I still call Father, Father. He was good to follow. So when you call upon me, I'll be ready to follow. I am present, Jesus the Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. You are celebrating the 20th Sunday in ordinary time. That God may hear our prayers, let us call to mind that we are sinners, and we are sorry for our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those you love whom you love, good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, we surpass every human desire. We ask our Lord Jesus Christ, his son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. From the book of Isaiah, Thus says the Lord, Keep justice and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come, and my deliverance be revealed. And the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord, and to be his servants. Everyone who keeps the Sabbath and does not profane it, and holds my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you. Praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. and bless us and let your face shed its light upon us so will your ways be known upon earth and all nations learn your salvation let the peoples praise you oh god let all the Let the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness, you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you. Oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing, that all the ends of the earth may revere him. Let the peoples praise you. Oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you oh god let all the peoples praise 
praise you. Let the peoples praise you. Oh God, let all the peoples praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, I am speaking to you, Gentiles, in as much then as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry in order to make my fellow Jews jealous, and thus save some of them. For if their rejection means the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance mean but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience. By the mercy shown to you, they also may receive mercy. For God has consigned all men to disobedience that he may have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went away and withdrew to the districts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from the region came out and cried, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. 
And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lordship of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, It is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be to Jesus. Are you happy? Are you happy today? Why are you happy? Because of the good news today? Because you are alive? Because you are at the International Sanctuary today? I myself, I'm very, very much happy. Do you know why? Why I'm happy is because I am an eyewitness to what Jesus the Savior is doing here. May we clap our hands for Jesus the Savior. May we clap our hands for Mother Mary. Amen. I don't know if you paid attention to today's messages. From the first reading to the gospel, you discover that the message today is so much adrem, is so much in line with what we have in our midst. At a point, I began to ask myself that it is possible that the prophet Isaiah knew that at a point in time in history that God would raise a place like this. I don't know if you paid attention. And the first reading began by this injunction. Keep justice. Do righteousness, for my salvation is coming. And when Jesus the Savior appeared to his servant, our father founder, he addressed himself as what? I am Jesus the Savior. So still talking about salvation. And if you look at the prayers, which our father found that coined out of the inspiration from Jesus the Savior. There is first task he gives everybody. The first task is what? That you must be a good person. And when the scripture says today, the prophet Isaiah says today, that you have to keep justice. And do righteousness. It is, he simply means that you have to be a good person. And it is not stop there. He went down. And began to talk about his holy mountain. That even the foreigners who will keep his covenant. And the Sabbath day. We come to share in the joy and the manifestations of the Lord. And it's because of the nature 
of today's reading that I wish to caption the reflection righteousness, faith, and divine manifestations. Can you say that? Righteousness, faith, and divine manifestation. You, each time we come here, I don't know. Some of you do not know that from time to time, our Father Father calls us. Do you know what he tells us? That for there, for there to be effective intercession, there must be faith. When he calls us, he begins to teach us. He will tell us that for, there, for us to receive effective intercession, there must be faith on the side of the minister and also on the side of the faithful. And sometimes the faithful will come and you will see the faithful, you will see him or her, not strong in faith. When the minister has faith, God will hinge on the faith of the minister and begin to do his work. And sometimes, it will appear as if the ministers don't even understand you and your problem. And because of your faith, God will go and perform what he wants to perform. Righteousness is very, very important in our life as Christians. Because that makes us look, that makes us reflect the person of Jesus the Savior. You can't say that you are a Christian and you get yourself involved in every wicked activity. So one of the ways to prove that you are a Christian and that you abide by the instructions given to you here every day is that you work and labor. You make every effort to live a righteous life. Becoming a Christian means that you have to learn how to live a good life. Be a good person. Sometimes it may not be easy, but it is doable because the grace is always there for us. So that when you are told not to lie, you listen to it and make effort. When you are asked to be humble, you listen to it. When you are asked not to steal, you listen to it. When you are asked to mimic Jesus the Savior and his mother, Blessed Virgin Mary, in the simplicity of life, you hearken to that. And that is the injunction from the prophet Isaiah today. But righteousness is not enough. There is something that will help to garnish our righteousness. And we will begin to see God in action. And that is divine manifestation. Faith. Faith. There is no way you can please God without faith. Sometimes we try to appear before God with the eyes of reason. But those who know God, those who have encountered God, know that we can only approach God and please him through the eyes of faith. When you come, any time I have, many a time I have been with my, our father, Fanda, he will ask you, have faith, have faith. 
And sometimes you come with your problem and you'll be crying and shouting, hey, hey, I'm dying, you know, I'm dead. This father help me. And some of us will think that father will begin to say all the prayers in the world. Some of us begin to think that it is by the multiplication of our prayers that God hears us. Those who know what they are and what they carry in God, they don't need to multiply words. Jesus said you shouldn't multiply words. Our Heavenly Father knows our intentions. Just say it. And the Father, Father will tell you. Go, woman. Go and give birth. Go and give birth. Look at what the woman demonstrated today. Very touching. Ran to Jesus. She's not a Jew. She's from a foreign land. He came to, she came to Jesus. And was crying. The disciples came and told the woman, Go away, you are disturbing us. So sometimes you may even try to get to Father Fanda and you see obstructions. A woman gave testimony yesterday for some of us who, how she came here, she was barren for years. What happened? Father Fanda was passing. And uh, luckily for her, she struggled to touch. Some of you who were here during the adoration, you saw a woman carrying a young boy. With, uh, carrying a young boy. I think she came from Udi. How did it happen? Barren for years. She arrived here. And when Father Fanda was passing by, she had faith in her that only if she would touch Father Fanda that her problem would stop. And when this woman came, she struggled her way to Father Fanda and touched his garment. Immediately she touched, the woman said how she put it, that her menstruation did what? Ceased. There was an instant conception. And look at how the scripture said it today. That immediately Jesus saw the fate of this woman. What happened? What happened? The, the, the child that was possessed by the demon was instantly cured. So Jesus is walking, demonstrating, showing, exhibiting what he did in the scripture with our dear father founder. But faith has to be there. And you have to add righteousness. Not only that, I remember one Mississippi from an Ibu Kwanambra state. If some of you can remember, that was the day I knew that a woman can be pregnant for 10 years. And at the point of delivery, what happened? She delivered today, and in the, in the next two weeks, she delivered another one. <laughs> and uh, I was asking one of the medical doctors, could that be possible? He said no. And I, another thought told me, that is why it is called a miracle. Miracle defies all the natural processes you know. All the biological processes you know so that the work of God will be made manifest this woman from what she said the day she gave testimony here everybody was rushing to touch her so that if your problem appears to be so troublesome and you have been doing everything to make sure that your prayers are answered and it, they are not forthcoming wait God is preparing your testimony so that the day it will happen, it will be louder than every other testimony. And everybody will begin to ask God to give that you may receive the kind of grace. This woman came here. She said she had traveled to many places. When she was pregnant, people didn't know what was happening. Today, her Stomach will be as big as anything. 
Tomorrow it will shrink. This was her experience. People didn't understand. She was moving from one hospital to another, from prayer houses, from one to another. And finally, she decided to come here. Even some people advised her that she should go and flush out the child, the baby. But the woman had the fate of the woman in the scripture today. And she didn't happen to that. She ran down to here where everything happens. And when she came here, luckily enough, it was able, she was able to see our father founder. And after narrating her ordeals, father founder told her, woman, have faith, you are going to deliver. So after previous week, the woman went, um, decided to stay. She said she will not go again. Within that pilgrimage week, the first week passed, and she started having signs of labor. She was rushed to hospital. Before the doctors and the nurses could know what was happening, the woman had put to bed. And everybody was rejoicing, thinking that that is the end. The woman came here, and Father Fanda said to her, go and deliver again. How Fanda said it, nobody knows. <laughs> and sometimes he will tell you that Jesus the Savior speaks to him. Mother Mary, we, some of us think it's a joke. It's not a joke. Oh. How, that, how we say that to the woman? The woman didn't understand it. They were, everybody was rejoicing. The woman then decided to go and stay with the sister in Port Harcourt. She's already a nursing mother now. So she can't be here. Following the next two weeks, reaction again. It was in the sister's house that she put birth to the second baby. Two bouncing baby boys. Ten years pregnancy resulted to two bouncing baby boys. Faith, if it were some of us, you, you could see how Jesus even tested the faith of this woman. And told the woman that uh, it's, not, it's not worthwhile that you give what belongs to the children to the dogs. If it is some of us, we say Jesus has insulted us. In fact, I, why would Jesus call me dog? But that is not what the master wanted to do. He wanted to bring her to her faith. And when Jesus saw that the faith, he did not waste time. Your faith is what is going to provoke God's attention in your life. It is your faith that it will provoke his manifestation in your life. So I urge you, children of God, it's a privilege that we hear and see what Jesus the Savior is doing here. Please do not take it for a joke. It's a very big opportunity. When there is trouble, when there is problem, if you find yourself in any kind of situation, that is overwhelming to you, we have an answer. The answer is International Sanctuary of Jesus the Savior and Mother Mary. They are here, present, doing signs and wonders. As you come here with faith and righteousness, may all Jesus has for us be yours. And may all come to manifestation in your life through Christ our Lord. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and, and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, Consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven 
and, and by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful Jesus Christ tore down the barrier separating Jews from Gentiles. As one people, one of, of one new and eternal covenant, let us pray to the God who unites us. the universal mission of the church to all peoples let us pray to the Lord for societies that discriminate against racial or religious minorities let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, the Savior, you are my hiding place in every situation. I depend on you. For artists, musicians, scholars, and authors who preserve the heritage of ethnic cultures, let us pray to the Lord. For families who have migrated from other nations into our community, let us pray to the Lord. sanctuary of Jesus the Savior and Mother Mary. That Jesus the Savior will continue to sustain the Father Founder in Scorabretos and that the prayer intentions of the pilgrims who seek him will be answered. Let us pray to the Lord. have entered the dimension of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us 
now in silence and humility add our individual intentions. Beckoning the powerful intercession of Our Lady, let us pray. Pray out to Our Lady of El Ele. O oh, blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of El Ele, we humbly beseech you to step in. Be with us as you promised on the 7th September 1996, when you appeared in the International Sanctuary, El Ele. Carry each and every one of us as you carried your Son, Jesus the Savior who also was carrying with his right hand the monstrance of the LLA Eucharistic procession. Strengthen our faith. Do not abandon us. May we live the life that is pleasing to you and our divine Savior. And may your Son, Jesus the Savior, grant us good health, long life, and success in our proper undertakings. Amen. Loving Father, you created us of one stock. In your image and likeness, receive the prayers we offer in this house of prayer. Open for all people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come and rejoice with me, for the Lord has done wonderful works, marvelous works. Come and rejoice with me, come and rejoice with me, for the Lord has done wonderful works, marvelous works. Come and rejoice with me, come and rejoice with me, for the Lord has done. Wonderful works, marvelous works, come and rejoice with me. Come and rejoice with me, for the Lord has done. Wonderful works, marvelous works, come and rejoice with me. Come and rejoice with me, for the Lord has done. Wonderful works, marvelous works, come and rejoice with me. Whether you are sick or healthy, Jesus has done something new in your life. Pilgrims rejoice. Whether you are sick or healthy, Jesus has done something new in your life. Come and rejoice with me, for the Lord has done wonderful ways. For the Lord has done wonderful works, marvelous works, come and rejoice with me.
Your miracle is on the way He has done it before He will handle it again God the move move on Has done it before God the prime move on
pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give time to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death. So summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your only possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing your hymn of glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now is the most important moment in our Eucharistic celebration. Jesus is coming down on the altar now. This is the time for everybody to kneel down. Kneel down wherever you are. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down their spirit upon the, 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 the do, do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Camillus, our Bishop, Patrick, his auxiliary, Emmanuel, our founder, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be married to be coerced with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the feet of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirits. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but to this say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep us safe eternal life. Amen. Prayer before Holy Communion. Prayer for help. O oh Lord, help me to make a good communion. Mary, my dearest mother, pray to Jesus for me. My dear angel guardian, lead me to the altar of God. Act of contrition. O oh my God, because you are so good, I'm very sorry that I've sinned against you. And by the help of your grace, I will not sin again. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to Jesus. This is time for the reception of the Holy Communion. The blessings offered during the Holy Mass is for everyone. A reception of the Holy Communion is strictly for Catholic communicants those who prepared well in the traditional ways of the church. Glory be to Jesus. Jesus the Savior, I know you are the King of my life. Jesus the Savior, Jesus the Savior, I know you are the King of my life. Jesus the Savior, I know you are the King of my life. I know you are the king of my life. Jesus the Savior. I know you are the king of my life. Jesus the Savior. I know you are the king of my Victorious, you are my stronghold, my 
fighting battle you are my shepherd holy redeemer you are my savior oh lord disappoints them one with God is majority I say one with God is majority in life Sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Jesus, I love you, all I have is thine. Yes, I am, and yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will, amen. Jesus, I love you, all I have is thine. Yes, I am, and yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will, amen. Jesus, I love you, all I have is thine. Yes, I am, and yes, I want to be. Do with me whatever you will, amen. Prayer to Our Lady of El O oh, Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of El we, we humbly beseech you to step in. Be, be with us as you promised on the 7th September 1996 when you appeared in the International Sanctuary, LL. Carry each and every one of us as you carried your Son, Jesus the Savior, who also was carried with his right hand, the mansions of the LL Eucharistic procession, strengthen our faith. Do not, not abandon us. us. May, May we live the life that is pleasing to you and our divine Savior. And may your Son, Jesus the Savior, grant us good health, long life, and success in our proper undertakings. Amen. Jesus the Savior, have mercy on us and grant us success. 
Jesus the Savior. Have mercy on us and grant us success. O Mary, Mother of Jesus the Savior, pray for us. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Let us pray. Stand up, everybody. May the partakers of Christ, through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. If you have, you have your articles for blessing, you raise them up. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, listen favorably to our prayers, and with your right hand bless these sacramentals, cars, trucks, wagons, and all the souvenirs of the International Sanctuary of Jesus the Savior, and Mother Mary, that your people would like you to bless for them. Send your holy angels so that all who ride in these vehicles and use these sacramentals and souvenirs may be delivered and gathered from every danger. And as you granted faith and grace by your deacon Philip to the man from Ethiopia who was sitting in his chariot and reading Holy Scripture, show the word of salvation to your servants so that held by your grace and always intent on doing good works, we may after all the trials of our pilgrimage and life on earth attain to everlasting joys in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. I will follow you, follow you, Jesus the Savior. I will follow you, follow you all the days of my life. I will follow you, follow you, Jesus the Savior. I will follow you, follow you all the days of my life.